In this demonstration, we're going to look at how we can install and configure a web application proxy. As many organizations now need to provide authentication for users and devices that are located on the network that's external to the organization, what we should really do is we should set up our Active Directory Federated services. What this will allow us to do is this will allow us to near enough do single sign-on. So Microsoft do recommend that you do set up your ADFS proxy. So what we're going to do in this demonstration is we're actually going to look at how we can configure this. Well, the first step for us is to actually install the web application proxy. So what I've done is I've come to one of my servers here. Just in the case of server manager, I'm just going to add some rules and features. That's going to bring me into wizard, so I'll select next at this point. Then what we're going to do here is we're going to go for rule based or feature based installation. We're going to do it on LON serve 2 and then what we're going to do here is we're just going to come down to our remote access and what we want to do here is we want to install our web application proxy. Then we'll select next. Just in case the additional features we're not going to bother with any additional features we'll select next and then what we'll do at this point here is we'll select install. So this is now going to go away and install this rule. This will take a little while. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll pause the presentation and return back once the installation is complete. Installation now complete, so we'll just select close. The next thing we need to do here is we just need to export the Active Directory Federation Services certificate from my Active Directory domain controller, which we've set up. So what we'll do is we'll just move over to LONDC1. LONDC1 be my ADFS server. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come down to a start button, just launch up Microsoft Management Console. And what we want to do here is we just want to install the certificate snap in. So we'll go for our file and remove snap ins. And what we want to do here is go for certificates. And then on our certificates, all we'll do is we'll select add. And what we want to do is we want to do this for our computer account and select next. We want to do this for our local computer, so now we'll select finish and select OK. Right, this brings me now into my certification. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to expand up local certificates, go for the personal, and then what we're going to do here is just click certificates. We have our adfs.datum.com certificate that we created in an earlier demonstration. So at this point here, all we're going to do is we're going to right click, go for all tasks, and we're going to export. Just on the export wizard, we'll select next. On the export private key, what we do want to do here is we do want to export the private key as well. So we'll select yes, export the private key and select next. Then just on the uh, certificate export wizard here, the export file format here. Yeah, we're happy with everything on here. So we'll just select next. And just for security, we'll go for password and we'll just specify the password and confirm the password. Now we've done that, we'll select next. Next thing to do here is just specify the file name, which I'm going to specify C colon backslash adfs.pfx and select next. Read through the summary and select finish. Export was successful, so we can now select OK. And what we'll do here, we don't need this Microsoft Management Console anymore, so we'll just close it down. Next thing to do now is actually import the certificate onto our LONSERV2, which is our proxy server. So we'll move over to LONSERV2. And we'll just do the reverse. So we'll just launch up Microsoft Management Console. And again, we'll go for the certificate snap in. So we'll add this in here now. Gain computer account, select next. Local computer, yep, select finish. Select OK. Maximize this up a little bit. And then what we want to do is we now want to import our certificate. So all we're going to do here, come to personal. And what we're going to do, right click, all tasks, and we'll do an import. This brings us into a wizard, so what we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to select next. And on the file name to import, we'll just put in the, the name of the file. 
And we'll specify that as backslash backslash lon hyphen dc1 backslash c dollar backslash adfs dot pfx and select next. We'll specify the path. Just select mark this keys exportable and select next. And then what we'll do here is we'll place it in the correct location. So we're just going to go for place all the certificates in the following store and select next. And then we'll select finish. Import was successful. We'll select OK at this point here. Next thing we need to do now is just configure the web application proxy. So we'll close down this Microsoft management console. We don't require this anymore. Up the notification tab. And all we're going to do here is we're just going to open the web proxy or the web application proxy wizard. And what we'll do is select next. Next thing we need to do here is just specify our federation server information. And I've specified adfs.datum.com as my federation service name. Username is going to be a datum backslash administrator and we've specified the password so we'll select next. Next thing to do is just specify the proxy certificate. So we'll go for our adfs.datum.com and then we we'll select next. And on the confirmation screen we'll select configure. So web application proxy was configured successfully, we can select our close button. Final thing to do now is just configure our application. So what we've got here is we've now been taken into our remote access management console. What we want to do here is we just want to come into our web application proxy. And what we want to do here is we just want to select publish. Then this brings us into wizard. So on the welcome screen, we're just going to select next. On the pre-authentication, I'm going to select pass through, so no pre-authentication is performed, and select next. Then on the publishing setting page, all we need to do here is we just need to, in the name box here, specify the name for our wizard. And we specified external app for the name. We specified the external URL to be https adfs.adatum.com forward slash external app. And we specified the certificate as adfs.adatum.com and the backend server URL is https colon forward slash forward slash adfs .com forward slash external app. Now we've done that, we'll select our next button, read through our confirmation and select public. And the wizard then comes back as web application external app published successfully. Select our close button. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.